Hi friend, this is Pastor Lucas Pina and this is our snack for the journey. And this week we are already in the last book of the Bible. Can you believe that? We covered the whole Bible. Uh, so we're starting today our meditations uh, in the book of Revelation. Very important book in the Bible. And people are sometimes afraid of this book. But it's a very important book. It's a book that the Apostle John wrote. Some people believe that he wrote at the end of the first century. A lot of scholars believe that he wrote uh, at the end of the, the, the year 68, 69, something like that, when the Romans were getting uh, uh, ready to destroy uh, Jerusalem in the AD 70. So it's a very important book because it's a, a prophecy about the end of the Old Covenant. And it's, it's a very powerful book with a lot of images. So you need to understand the images. And here we're not going to have time to go to all the detail, but we're going to have some lessons here and there about this beautiful book. Before I share with you the verse for today, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to our channel and to share this video with your friends and family and help us to bless other people. So let's take a look on the verse for today, uh, right at the beginning, right at the beginning, verse for today, verse 3. Revelation 1, verse 3 says, Blessed is the one who reads the words of this prophecy, and blessed are those who hear it and take to heart what is written, it, because the time is near. The, the, a lot of things in this verse that we don't have time to unpack everything, but the first thing that we need to understand is the, the, the blessedness. It's, John is, it's, some people are afraid to read, some people don't like to read this book, but John is, Jesus is talking to John and say, look, blessed is the one who reads the word. That is the prophecy that John is writing. And say, hey, blessed is the one who reads the words of this prophecy and those who hear it and take to the heart. So it's, this book it has to be read. We need to read that. We need to take heart. We need to meditate. This is what the apostle is telling here. And, and he is writing at that time to, to, to seven churches. The per persecution was coming. Nero was in the power. Persecution was coming. The Romans were beginning the war against the, the Israel and Judah and Jerusalem. And the destruction was coming. And the old covenant was about to pass away. And the new covenant would start. With, not to start because I already started with Jesus. But it would kind of blow up because now the church is it. That is the new covenant, and uh, so the, the old covenant would pass. So it's a very powerful book, and, and John said the time is near. He's not writing for us, he's writing for them, saying, look, the time is near. It's coming, it's coming right now. Remember when Jesus said that, that this generation will not pass away until these things, that is the time. Jesus said that in AD 33, and this is AD 68, so that is one generation. It's near. It's coming. It's happening, and it's happening right now. And John is writing this prophecy for that. And he said, this book is a blessing of comfort, showing that God is in control of everything. God is in control of everything. Nero has a lot of power. And all the other kings in the world, they have a lot of power. But God is the ultimate power. And it's very important for us to understand because it's comforting to know that. This is why this book is a blessing. And those who read are blessed. Those who read are blessed. So I'd like to challenge you to read the whole book. It's, it's great. It's a beautiful book. And this is our snack for today. God bless you.